Hey guys, welcome to my shop. My name's Bruce. Today we're gonna learn how to color some clear resin a little bit different way. The last video I did was with mica powder coloring white resin. And as you can see, the piece that I had made, well, here's a sample of the white resin. I was trying to get a good gray color. And I don't know if you can see on that camera or not, this come out a lot light. I used the darkest black I could find. But because the resin turns white, it's gonna fade any color into uh, a, a much lighter version. Well, this gray went way too light. Can't use it. So today we're going to try to rectify that. I'm going to practice on some clear resin. I talked to a buddy of mine online last night. He told me about a different technique to color clear resin so it's not translucent, so you can't see through it. Um, we're going to be using uh, amazing clear cast today. And I'm going to shrink myself down like I normally do so you can see what I'm working on. If I don't screw this up. Someday I'll find that button. All right, here I go. Okay, what you see here, this is a piece of clear resin that I have tinted with some blue mica powder and it actually some glow in a dark tint too, which you can't really see in this light. But, and as you can see, it's maybe it'd be better to do this. As you can see, you can, you can see through it to a point. It's translucent, but it's not a solid color. What I need is a solid color. So a friend of mine told me to try this. And that's what we're going to do today. Uh, I'm going to try three different colors. We're going to be making these molds here. Uh, they're just little, they're just little doodads. My wife wants me to make these flamingos for her. She likes to paint them in her spare time. So if I screw up the color, it doesn't matter. She's going to paint them anyway. And uh, so what we're going to use today, instead of mica powder, we're going to use acrylic, acrylic paint. And you can get this at any Walmart. Hold it right side for the camera. You can get this at any Walmart. I don't, like I said, I don't even know if this is going to work or not. This is my first try. We're going to try three different colors, same, same brand. Um, and we're going to see how, do a couple samples and see what happens. I don't even know how this is going to come out. So when I demold this, you'll be right there with me. And I promise I'm going to air it on YouTube, whether it's good or bad. So I've already got my epoxy or my resin mixed together here. Uh, this part A and part B. I like working with the clear resin better most of the time because you have much more pot life, much more time that I can keep it in this glass while I'm working. So you can fill multiple molds. Uh, if you, you're measuring out a higher volume, you can actually get the measurement a little more accurate. So today, first color I'm going to do is, of course, I want to do my gray. And I'm using... These, these shot glasses, which you can buy almost anywhere. They're disposable, of course. So we're going to, let's get this stuff out of the way. I could, I, I need a better camera setup, don't you think? But uh, we're going to do this. So y'all can see what I'm doing. I am just going to give this a little shake. And I'm just going to put a little bit in the bottom. Now my buddy said I shouldn't go, if I'm using acrylic paint, I should not go above... 10% of the volume of the resin I'm going to use. Look at there's a paint booger in there. There we go. So that's, of course, you know, I measure everything here out perfectly scientific. Yeah, great. If you believe that, I got some uh, swamp land I'll sell you. And I'm, this is just some resin I've already mixed up. Do 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 do. I'm going to do, because I want the, I want to get this gray right. So I'm going to do about a half a batch of just the gray. And then we're going to stir. See what color that gives us. Oh, it seems to be mixing. Seems to be mixing pretty good, actually. Now, the good thing about the clear resin is whatever I'm looking at right now, that's what I should be looking at when I'm done. This color gray is actually coming up a little darker on screen. If this does work, this color gray is about what I'm shooting for. Which would be great, because the ones that don't come out the right color, I end up having to hand paint. And I'd much rather be able to pull these out of the mold and have them ready to go without fussing with them so okay that's the gray we're going to do and i'm going to pour that into this guy right here this is just a little mold you can buy online i mean they sell these at some of the dollar stores you can find little silicone molds a lot of people will use them for uh soap wax um all kinds of uses that other people that mold in different materials use in this case we're using these for uh, just testing my colors, but uh, this if this does come out, it's probably going to go on my keychain, which is neat too. So, okay, my wife wanted some purple flamingos, so let's do the purple next. It's the same brand of paint, just a different shade. If you turn this upside down, you'll see what the flamingos look like. 
and uh, she really likes flamingos. So we're gonna take a little more of our resin. So I want to save some for the black. I um, also I mix the paint. I put the paint in my container first on the last on the last mix. Fresh shot glass, by the way. This time I'm putting the resin in first, and I'm gonna put a couple drops of paint in. I don't think it'll make a difference, but that's why we experiment and we try to see. So I'm gonna put about the same amount of paint in there. There you can see that. That's three drops. Like I said, he the guy told me don't go over 10% of paint compared to the rest of your resin. If you want to sit there and weigh it out or just fly by to see your pants like I do. And look, you, oh, that's getting a neat color already, isn't it? Now, I know this won't work in white resin, so don't even ask. Uh, the paint's got water in it. And anytime you meet, mix any kind of moisture with white resin, it just blows up into bubbles and it, it'll ruin your cast. It might even do it to this. I don't know. But he said for the clear resin, it's not as bad. So we're going to see what his definition is and what how this comes out whenever I... It's a, see, see your kids? That's, that's a nice purple color. You know what? I can see on camera. I need to mix it better. Definitely want to make sure you mix your paint in thoroughly. Also, me working with a small quantity like this, I'm wondering if this is going to affect the cast any if I put too much paint in. But like I said, this is a pass or fail. We're going to try it. See what happens. And I do have a saying. I like to say it's either going to work or it's not going to work. I say that to my wife all the time. And sometimes it's good luck and it ends up working. Sometimes it doesn't. For instance, dinner the other night. I'm a hell of a cook. The other night I decided to make uh, um, uh, da, 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 wings. I wanted to make hot wings, but I didn't want to heat the house up. It was like 95 degrees outside and our house gets hot from our kitchen. So I'm like, I got a nice grill. I'm going to go, I breaded them, put them on the, on the grill, going to cook them on the grill, which I've done a million times before. I even made a pizza on the grill too. I want to make the whole dinner on the grill. I haven't cooked them in a while and I got a little ahead of myself. Like I have a tendency to do in case you haven't noticed. And, uh, well, I burned them. <laughs> I burned the hell out of them and she ate them anyway, bless her heart. But yeah, they were burnt. <laughs> okay. Now we got our purple. Now I want to see, I chose black for the last test and I have some resin left in here. I want to see, I'm going to set the flamingos over side. She's not going to want a black flamingo. I want to see how dark I can make this. And the best, best way to see how dark you can make it is to use black. So black it is. I have about the same amount in there that I had in the other two shot glasses. So I'm going to put a little drop of that paint in there. I don't know if that's 10% or not, if you can see it, but that's what I put in the bottom there. About three little splashes, carefully measured. I could, I probably could weigh it out, but here's the thing. I'm lazy, and I like trying new things, whether they pass or fail or not. So I got my, there we go. I'm mixing it up. No, oh, it's turning real dark already. But see, with clear resin, when you mix your mica powder in there, or in this case, paint, you know it's going to dry clear. So whatever you're looking at in that cup that you're putting into your mold should be, I would think, what it's going to look like when it comes out. Assuming this resin doesn't react with the paint, which he said it won't. So we're going to try. I like trying new stuff. So do, 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 do. I think that's enough. Like I said, my resin was plenty mixed up to begin with. Because I didn't want you have to sit here while I mix, 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 mix. And then we'll, okay, this was our gray, which is pretty, that's pretty dark. Here comes our black. Now, if this does dry like this, this is, this will be a game changer too, because I have never been able to turn white resin this dark before. And a lot of the parts and pieces that I make that I sell to people for replacement parts for their toys, a lot of them are black. So this might be a game changer for that. The only problem is this is going to take about seven to eight hours to dry at least. Now it's hotter outside today. It's 85 out there today. So it should take about seven hours. In the wintertime, it sometimes can take up to 18 hours for the stuff to dry, at least enough for me to pull it out of the mold. Now that can be that can be detrimental if I'm waiting for something to mail to a customer 
and I got to get it right the first time. If I don't get it right the first time, I pull it out after 18 hours. There's half my time shot. I got to start all over again unless I can fix it somehow. So here's this. Like I said, these are all clear resins. They don't look clear. That paint really darkened them up. I am hoping, yeah, this gray, it looks like it got darker since I poured it. Wow, pretty interesting. This black's looking good. Like I said, we won't know for about six or eight hours. But now I'm kind of curious. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to set up and do one small batch of the white resin with this paint just to see what happens. Just, just to see. I think I know what's going to happen. I think it's going to destroy the mold. Well, destroy by casting. But hey, it doesn't hurt to try. At least if I mess it up and you see it, you know not to do it. Because I like teaching you guys the right way, but also I'll screw up on purpose and do the wrong way. So let me get reset up. I'll be right back and we will try the white resin. Okay. I got everything set up now to do white. You see, I have my part A side poured, my part B side poured. I got my little paper cup here. I like using the paper cups better than the plastic ones for smaller batches because I can stir better. That's just my opinion. You can use whatever cup you want. Just, and I said it before, just make sure there's no wax coating on here. And the best way to tell it is to scratch it with your fingernail and see if some white stuff comes up. If you got that white stuff coming up, that's wax. If you don't want to use that on your white resin, when it heats up, it'll melt that. It'll get into your casting and it could degrade it. So with that said, I do this a little differently when I mix colors with the white because the white one, this one will set up today in 10 minutes because it's hot outside and it's hot in the shop today too. So I take my B side because it seems to be the thinnest and it's it just easier to work with. I pour my B side of my stir cup. And then now I'm going to add my, and even with mica powder, this is when I add my color. So I'm going to add about the same, same, same amount I showed you before in the last batch of clear, but like I said, this is white. I picked black because I'm shooting for that gray color, and the mica powder, the black mica powder wouldn't give it to me. So we're going to try it this way. Like I said, it's either going to work or it's not going to work. It's getting nice and black. This is still just my B side, though, so I, I don't have to be in a hurry. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I lost my gloves. If you didn't see it yet, I made a safety video. Um, normally, when I'm down here, I've got my safety gloves on, and this room's aerated. It's got an exhaust fan behind me. Of course, you know, I'm horrible. It's off for the moment. So like you can hear me talk. Okay, here comes the A side. Dump it in. And we stir. This is another one. If you feel your, your cup getting hot, you better dump that resin somewhere because it's it does not take long to cure up. I like I did the hollow mold the other day. I, I started to the last second. We're not gonna do that today. We're, I started for about 30 seconds, get the sides, get the bottom, make sure both those parts are mixed together. Whether you're coloring it or not, very important. Because if you have one little swirl in there of part A that didn't mix with part B or vice versa, it's gonna ruin your cast and then you'll be angry and yelling at me. Okay, I got a nice batch going here. You see how black it is. I chose to do this mold because I don't have anything I really need. This is a brand new mold. Um, I, I know I used one in another video, but this is the same same mold, but it's brand new. So I need a couple of these guys for a figure I make. So I'm going to fill these up first. Now, I'm not filling up the whole way. That's There's no reason or rhyme for that. I just, I because I the piece I need this for doesn't have to be that thick. And let's do one of these helmets here in the center. Okay, I want I want you to see something that's doing it already. This is boiling. Can you see the bubbles moving around in there? That shouldn't happen. So I have a feeling we just wasted about two ounces of resin. We're going to find out, though. I'm going to come back in. Well, let's watch this boil. And what this is is the moisture in the paint is reacting with the white resin. And this is what happens. And it's going to probably have bubbles all at least on the back side when we pull these out i'm thinking maybe on the face but uh all we could do now is wait about 10 15 minutes till it's done look at this one here it's, it's going to town it is going to town look it's overflowing yeah these are going to be ruined i guarantee it but that's okay i'll still be back in 10 minutes so we'll look and see what we got soon so apparently you're going to learn in this one what not to do and we haven't even been able to 
work on the clear ones yet. I won't be able to demold those till tomorrow. So we're going to put that in this video too. So, hey, um, <laughs> I'm over two so far. So, or wait, um, yeah, look at that. Look at that. I think it's safe to say acrylic paint does not work in white resin. <clears throat> that is crazy. That is crazy. That's already getting hard. I might not have to wait 10 minutes. That is crazy. I'm still going to give it 10 minutes. I'll be back and we'll do the unveiling of these uh, obvious failures. So, yeah, it's been 10, less than 10 minutes. And it's nice and hard now. That is crazy. Can you see that? Isn't that crazy? These ones I didn't even fill up and look they overflowed. I hope I didn't ruin my mold. All right, let's pop them out. Hopefully they'll come out. Oh, they're coming out. Wow. You know, the sad part is that's the gray color I was going for. But these these are unusable. They puffed up. They look like... This one's going to look like a mushroom. It looks like a mushroom. Check that out. That's wow. And it's really airy, like... It is full of these bubbles and craters and stuff. Actually, this one here looks kind of neat. Let me turn around so you can see better. I was right the first time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this one here looks pretty neat. Like something would be hanging on a wall or something. And then the other ones, I'm sure they're the same thing. Yeah, they, they completely filled up with air. I mean... As far as the front side, it doesn't look too bad. I'll probably, I'll probably run these down on a on a on a uh, grinder, or a disc sander, or something, and get that get this foam off. It's like a it's like I burnt the cupcakes or something. But um, that's what we get. So what did we learn with this? Do not use acrylic paint in your white resin. Doesn't work. <laughs> That's why I like trying new things. And I'm leaving this in the video, too. Well, you're watching it, so I guess you know it's still in the video. Um, Got to wait till tomorrow to pull the clear resin ones with the acrylic paint on and see what happened. Uh, my one friend said I need to get alcohol dye for these if the mica powder is not getting it dark enough. And I probably won't invest in that to try it. But um, I just had some extra resin laying around, and I thought, uh, I was curious. I'm sure if I was curious, some of you other people were curious, too, what will happen. Well, now we know. Like I said, this thing is light as a feather. Like, here's a regular one. This is how it normally would have come out. Of course, I painted this. So, that's what they're supposed to look like. That is crazy. Look at the, the, the thickness difference in it, because this is all air. That is crazy. Okay, well, the next clip's going to be me uh, on uh, demolding the clear ones. And see you in a bit. Okay, it's been overnight. Um, I was working in the yard today, so didn't get this done first thing in the morning. I wanted to, but it took me a lot longer in the yard than I thought it would, so here I am. It's about 5 o'clock in the afternoon now. Um, I just want to take a minute and go ahead and demold these so we can see what we got. Uh, da, 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 da. After last night's failure, I'm still curious, but these seem to have come out okay. They didn't bubble up like the other things did. This is the gray. It's... um. Well, you can still kind of see through it if you hold it up to the light. It's coming out a little darker on camera than it actually is. But if I hold it up to the light, I can definitely see it's not quite opaque, a little translucent. So that's our gray. Like I said, I'm looking on the camera here. It doesn't look like uh, it's not. It's, 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 it's coming out. It looks darker to you than it actually is. So that was the gray. Here comes the blacks. Now, I can't see through the black. Hold it up. I cannot see through it. I'm actually happy with the black. I think it came out okay. Let's get the rest of these out. He's going to make some teachings for friends and family, or I'll throw them in packages when I sell them on eBay, or when I sell my other stuff on eBay. <clears throat> um, but like I said, I just wanted to make use to test the acrylic paint in the clear resin. So, much better than the white resin that exploded. <laughs> 
So, and here's my wife's little flamingo thingies that she wanted. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, there it goes. Uh, I thought it was going to get stuck in the, in, the, in the mold there for a second. There it goes. Nice purple color there. This mold's a little bit, it's not as pliable as the ones I normally use. Maybe that's it, but yeah, it's coming out just fine. Yeah, it didn't ruin my mold or anything. But these two are the purple ones. A nice color. Uh, nope, you cannot see through them. Um, yeah, it's a darker color than I could get with uh, mica powder and white resin, definitely. And since we learned that we cannot put acrylic paint in white resin, this might be the way to go for certain parts and things that I need to make. So, um, like I said, I don't have a minute. I'm still doing stuff outside, so I'm going to go finish out. I'll come back and I'll do the wrap-up of this video. Uh, so, yeah. Here it is a couple hours later, and I should have just stayed in the house. My uh, dog got loose and ran into the woods chasing after something, and I spent better part of two hours chasing her through the next town. Got her home, though. She's safe. Anyway, that's uh, pretty much, uh, I just rewatched the video, rewatched the video, and uh, there's really nothing else to say. I'm just pretty self-explanatory. I mean, I knew that was going to happen with the white resin, but I'm very happy with the, uh, with the clear resin that I used the acrylic paint. Once again, it was acrylic paint in there. I'm going to try, um, there's alcohol pigment that's supposed to work in the white resin. And um, like I said, some of this is new to me. The coloring is definitely new to me. So I'm going to do some trial and error, share it with you guys, and hopefully uh, we'll get through it together. Thanks for watching the video. Like, share, subscribe. Got something to say, you know, request or something. Let me know. Check out some of my other videos. I do different stuff. And uh, like I said, thanks.